Hey, hey, hi, I am IT PhD. And today we are continuing our ventures in C language. This time we will talk about C language standards and it's actually a quite interesting thing. So we developed in our past lessons simple game where we fight some goblins and get different amount of gold from them. We will continue improving this game, but to do so we need to learn such some interesting facts about C language. So the thing is that there are different versions of C language. Almost every programming language has different versions of it. So let's take a look how we compile our program right now. So let's open PowerShell and we will make our simple compilation like we do this all the time. So GCC main.c functions dot c so it's how we compile our game all the time but let's try to compile it with a different version of c language to do so we add such a uh, uh, command like dash and then std which means standard and then we say that okay let's it will be equal to c89 and if we would compile it like this we will see some errors why because yeah we we currently we tried to compile our game with uh, more recent uh, versions of compiler so each compiler actually you could for gcc you could summon different versions of compiler so when when c language appeared c language appeared somewhere in like 69 or 72 it was de developed by Dennis uh, Ritchie. So, uh, yeah, let me say because this is like canonic name, most important uh, human in C language. And uh, Dennis Ritchie, he developed this language. And uh, after it was developed, it was kind of his internal, he worked in Bell Labs, it was his internal like um, tool. So they wrote a, a Unix operation system with it before it they used assembler mostly so all stuff written is assembler mostly like operation systems so uh, then this guy Dennis Rich and his friend Brian Kerning and his colleague they wrote a book uh, I have this book and uh, it's kind of single C language programming by uh, Brian Kerning and Dennis Rich and people who write in C language they call this uh, book like K and R and this is actually a standard so this book it was a first C language standard so it's uh, yeah it's called like okay it's called like a STD you could say like it's standard K and R then sometime later in uh, 89 in 89 uh, American ISO ISO like standardization organization they created their own standard actually yeah, it's it's kind of k and r it was like a book it's not a real document it's a book so then when c language become much more popular popular they um, people from standard they came and they wrote an official document which called like ANSI or ISO uh, they made a standard and you could uh, check if you could find this standard in the internet and it's kind of called uh, like 89 like c 89 this, this standard called uh, then uh, later on there are more standards uh, came so like 99 standard 2011 standard 2017 and 18 and yeah so c language continued to develop and this the thing is that each standard it has different rules for example uh, Kerrigan in Ritchie, when they just start uh, first made um, their when they, they made first version of C language when they made their uh, written their book, how they for example uh, define functions? They they said that okay, uh, if you use function, you must do what? Right now we use like we define type of the return value for the function this one and. Uh, stuff which comes to the function yeah so he, 
uh, in the beginning, in the first K and R standard, it was like this. So you had to define these values uh, just before a curly bracket. So it was like this. So functions, they were written like this in this first standard. By the way, in the last standard, which is right now appearing, which is called like uh, 2.x, uh, this thing, it's uh, kind of deprecated. But in pre previous standard, you still could do this stuff. But of course, it's not really, uh, yeah, we already get used to this, this, and this is very logical and fun to have such uh, function definition. So, yeah, it's one of the small uh, differences. Yeah, by the way, let's try it. Could, can we compile it? It will be funny to try. Yeah, like this. So, yeah, you see it works. You see it works this, this, this way. But in, in the newest version, which will appear soon, uh, maybe it won't work already. So the thing is, why I'm showing it? Because it's very important. You see, we've written this, uh, pro this program, our game. And if I'm trying to compile it with other, with um, more recent, with ANSI-C standards, so you right now, now you know that C89, it's ANSI lang language. And our compiler said that, okay, this type of comments, they are not allowed in this standard. So in um, ECOC standard, you can't use such comments. You should use comments like this, you know, it's kind of the only way. If you will use this one, you will have uh, errors. So it's not a warning even, it's errors. Compiler do not like them because uh, this type of comments, they appeared only in 99th standard. Also, for example, if we would use not int, but long, long int, this stuff also appeared uh, later. So if we will try, let, let's clean the screen. If we will try to do it, uh, we also will, might see the problem with it. Mm, okay, we, we do not see it. Anyway, anyway, I mean, it's kind of, C language developed, it's, and it's become, um, different and especially it could be uh, important if you will try for example to use some other compilers not gcc for example uh, borland compiler 32 so let's try to use it uh, for our main.c functions.c so you see i right now i'm using modern actually it's modern version of compiler it's from 2021 20, uh, year they published it. So, okay, it's maybe not the recent uh, version, but still it doesn't like some stuff. So, for example, he says that, okay, in functions, um, in functions seventh line here, um, we shouldn't, yeah, actually it's true. We shouldn't define here it's kind of error, yeah, it's it's bad design. It's uh, I'm, my mistake. I, you should always first define some variables, yeah, or declare them, and only uh, after perform some functions and some actions with them. So it's kind of, yeah, we should do it. It's right way. But you see, previous compiler, GCC compiler, it for him, it was all right like to do so. So now, for example, in this Borland compiler, Okay, I fixed this problem. Now he do not like what? He do not like that we uh, have, we using, uh, we in, in initializing inside of the for, we initializing this variable. So what he want for us, he want for us to initialize it in the beginning, because it's kind of C language standard, old standard. And now if we'll do it, you see, okay, now it works. So he, didn't like this behavior. He didn't like that we initialize it. But in modern C language standard, it's kind of okay to do it in four. And uh, it makes kind of your code even more readable, I'll say, because, uh, okay, when you have lots of stuff in the beginning of the function and you do not recall where they will, when, where it will be used later on, it will be harder to read. 
but actually it will be safer because we could forget something that we already defined um, this variable before so yeah it's kind of different ways i mean you should know about it what what i'm trying to say in this uh, in this video that you should know that uh, different compilers uh, has different versions okay let, let's go back and uh, I, I i'll make just even more fun let, let's go let's make more fun so yeah you see this compiler uh, it's borland compiler embarcadero it works all right with this code yeah we fixed some errors to make our code closer to like uh, uncc standard and uh, borland they have quite special ways you, you see that gcc gcc uh, when we compile gcc within 89 uh, within unc standard it worked all right and here you see he said mm, it's not fun to define your variables uh, in the inside of the for or after you summon some functions but how to understand which standards our compiler using right now so you compile your program which you compile in which version of c language we, you didn't because sometimes these compilers they have just no readme file there so to do so you could use such uh, definition it's very easy i took just from stack overflow this stuff it's uh, the macro for your standard version so when you compile your program this macro it's already exists it's not uh, you it's not possible to kind of print it like this but you could kind of uh, compare this macro to certain values which is standardized and uh, yeah let's just do it for example our code it's you see it's compiled with c18 standard which actually is the same as c17 it's the same uh, standard c18 c17 so yeah how we could compile it with a different version and check it so let's open powershell let's compile our code with standard 99 like this okay generated a.exe and we run a and you see now it's written that you compiled it with 99 compiler so before we used uh, c18 it's important uh, to remember about the standards because yeah it could uh, make some mess different standards they have different syntax different size of um, variables so different compilers they work differently and you in c language it's not like the most standardized <laughs> language because you you could um, be in trouble if you do not uh, know and or forgot about such uh, s small details so Thank you very much for watching. Next time we would take a look at an interesting thing about uh, variable size. That's why today we learned some stuff about standards, because we would need it next time. Have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.